What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So now that we have the Fizz Fat Boo Extreme Z Awakening on Global, I can finally present to you the basically invincible, new and improved, all Boo Majin Power Team. Now guys, this team is absolutely amazing. Not only is it super fun to run, but it's also extremely effective against Basically every event in the game, you know, Legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball History, Super Battle Road, obviously all the Dokkan events, story events, so on and so forth. The team's got a bunch of great tanks, so usually you're not taking that much damage, and even if you do take damage, most of the units on this team can heal you every turn. So if you take a few hits, lose some HP, the next turn you're most likely going to be healing back to close to full HP again. So that's why I say this team is basically invincible obviously you still can be killed but with this setup it's pretty hard to die and to prove that point in today's video we are going to be taking on the Majin Buu Saga stage of Super Battle Road and hopefully not use a single item throughout the entire run so with that said let's jump in here and see what we can do hopefully you got some nice rotations uh yeah not bad at all not bad at all okay so uh, it's been a while actually since I've fully cleared this stage and no that's not true oh I have bad memories about this stage I'll tell you guys in a second but uh, let's get our rotations in check here uh, I think I'm actually going to leave them as they are the boot tanks and the boot piccolo link quite well and let's go for Goku that's gonna be an 18 key super Let's give one orb to Boo Piccolo, and that's also a super for the exchange Boo. And hopefully we don't take too much damage here. Double digits, okay, I like it. Okay, so speaking of the bad memories, if you guys missed my recent race on the 59 Gaming channel against Talon, uh, we were actually facing off on the Majin Boo power uh, or Majin Buu Saga stage, right? And I had a huge lead against this guy. Like, I was probably a full stage ahead at one point, and like, my, my victory was guaranteed. Like, there was no way I was gonna lose. But then I got super cocky, and I was like, yo, I'm so ahead right now, there's no way I can lose, right? So I decided to pop the active skill for the Super Saiyan 2 Angel. Vegeta the LR, Super Saiyan 2 Angel of Vegeta, which as you guys know is awesome, but it's basically like a full episode, right? So I popped it, um, actually twice, when I didn't need to, I popped it twice in the second fight and the third fight. And uh, what ended up happening was um, I lost by, I think, like 10 seconds in the end. Like, I was finishing up and I was like, okay, we're done, it's good, we saw the you know episode of the anime through the active skill. And I finished, and Talon was like, yo, I finished like 10 seconds ago, man. I was like, no, you're lying. There's no way. I was so ahead. How did you beat me? And um, yeah, as it turns out, it was the active skills that uh, that got me, man. Like, there was no way I should have lost that, that you know, um, that race. Like, I was, I was just so, so cocky, right? I just felt so good about my chances that uh, I let it slip by. So um, yeah, this stage definitely does not give me the best memories uh, it was not my proudest moment the last time I was on this stage so yeah I guess the, the more of the story guys is uh, don't get cocky okay even, even if you're really ahead in something whether it's a race or uh, I don't know in, in real life or for something in your career or in school or whatever just don't get cocky okay stay humble don't be like me because yo this is like the classic it's the classic um, fable, right? Like the tortoise versus the hare, where like, or, or the rabbit, like the rabbit was obviously supposed to win. And then he got really cocky and decided to like take a nap in the middle of the race because he was so ahead. And uh, the turtle just like was slow and steady and ended up beating the, the rabbit in the race. And um, damn, I didn't, I, I didn't think that that um, fable or that kid story would actually come back to bite me as an adult. That's crazy. Anyways, um, as you guys can see, this team is holding up really well. Uh, I was barely paying attention to that first stage, and we are still at full, full HP. Um, 
This one might be a little bit tricky because we have three enemies. And we've got some type disadvantage here. So let me think what we should do. So Boo Tanks is starting with 149,000 defense. Amazing. And he does build defense with every super, right? So I think what I'm going to do is put the Fat Boo there. We'll let Boo Tanks tank all the attacks in the middle. And um, Exchange Boo should... Okay, unless Gohan Super is us, we should still be alright. Uh, obviously, we're going to go for Gohan, since we have type, type advantage here. Um, maybe we can kill him. Maybe, just maybe, if we get lucky, we can kill him here and not worry about getting Super at the end. And so uh, we'll give, I guess, these to Exchange Boo. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay attention here, because... I am slightly concerned. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, this is good. So we took a bunch of normals. Obviously, he's building attack and defense with every single attack he takes. There's the additional great damage, 2.1 and 2.2. So about 4 million attack that turn generated. And if we get a nice crit here, then Gohan should be dead. Come on. Oh, thank you. Okay, so... Oh, we killed him. Oh, I thought he was still alive. All right, so we, we killed him already, and then we got the additional. Boo tanks is, is insane. Boo tanks is such a... Wait. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, he's still amazing. Just scared me a little bit there, man. Obviously, with the type advantage, it's still super battle road. Even though Boo tanks is a beast, still got to be a little bit careful. So, uh, we, we, we're okay. We're okay. We uh, got away got away there um let me think what we should do i'm gonna put actually blue piccolo there to try and stun the go tanks and then uh we won't worry about him for now because i think we have a like high chance to stun so we're most likely gonna stun him even if we don't though i don't think he's gonna super us again back to back like that and we're gonna try to take out the evil boo or sorry i'm gonna try to use evil boo to take out piccolo that's what I meant. Alright, so give me that stun. Give me that stun. Come on. There we go. There's the stun. And now he is not a concern until next turn. And if we can take out Piccolo, then we only have one enemy to worry about. And uh, in that case, it'll be okay. And as you, as you guys can see, we're already healing up um, pretty fast, right? Now we're at like 316k HP, I think. And next turn, we should heal back up to full. Um... Maybe. Maybe. By the way, if you guys haven't been using the STR Evil Boo with his Extreme Z Awakening, uh, give him a shot. Now, he's not the best in like most events because in order to like have his full passive, you need to be facing a Majin Buu Saga enemy. But if you're running a stage like this, like specifically Majin Buu Saga Super Battle Road, where all the enemies are in the Majin Buu Saga category, then he's amazing because he's getting a high chance to dodge, He's getting a high chance for, uh, no, not a high chance. He gets guaranteed additional supers, and um, he's also debuffing all the enemies. So uh, he's awesome for this event. Like he was, he was made basically for Majin Buu Saga Super Battle Road. All right, so just one more turn here, um, and then we should be out of here. Who has more defense? Okay, so even when fully built up, it looks like the Buu Tank still has more defense. So. Let's put him in the front, and I don't think it really matters here. Oh, he's still stunned. Never mind. Oh, he stuns for two turns. Oh, I forgot about that. I, I forgot that Boo, Boo Piccolo actually stuns for two turns, so Gotenks is still stunned. So we actually have nothing to worry about, and even if he wasn't stunned, he would have still died. So we're good. We're good. Final enemy is the really... Um, really strong super vegito now the good thing is we don't have any type disadvantage here right we don't have a int unit i was thinking about bringing the easy a buhan yeah easy a buhan um but then i realized i remembered that vegito fizz vegito was the final boss so it's a good thing it's a good thing i didn't do that now why don't we put uh yeah let's put the, hmm, actually, I don't know. He can't be stunned, right? Let me check. Yeah, he doesn't have any, like, special skills, so we can still stun him. 
So let's put the Boo Bukalo there. Boo Piccolo, Boo Bukalo, Boo Icolo, whatever you guys want to call him. Uh, let's put him there. And then that's still going to be a 24. Close to 24. Uh, 21 key super. And go okay, we'll give those to exchange Boo. See, the thing that I really don't love about Exchange Boo is the fact that it does take him a while, like quite a few turns, to reach his maximum power, right? Like his full capabilities. Oh god. Please be gentle. Okay, it's, it's good enough. It's good enough. If that's the only super we're eating, as far as I remember, he doesn't super multiple times in a turn. So, we should be okay. But as I, as I was saying about the exchange boo, um, he is good. He's a good unit, but it just takes him so long, man, to reach his like final stage, his super boo stage, where he's the best. That uh, I do understand a lot of the criticism against him. That being said, I think he gets way too much hate uh, compared to like how how good he is. Um, so yeah, still a big fan of the unit, right? Still a big fan of the unit, but I do admit that he could also be better and just basically just because just 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 um in terms of the transformation conditions right like if it was you know maybe five turns instead of seven turns i mean sometimes if you're lucky you get the, you can you can transform at um you get to the final stage why can't i talk right now what's happening can't talk um if it was yeah it's like five turns or four turns to get to super boo I think it would be totally fine. It's just the fact that it's a lot of times takes like seven turns that um, turns a lot of people off, you know, from the unit. Anyways, with that said, let's finish this off. Shouldn't take us more than like two or three more rotations here. Um, in terms of linking, I think this is, it's like the same, no? Yeah, it looks like it's the same. Okay, so I'll give these to Buhan or Bu Tanks. And uh, give these to the evil boo. And I'll give those to fat boo. And you know, if we eat a super now, I'm really not concerned. Yeah, like here we go. Like he's already built up a decent amount of defense. So this should hit us for maybe a hundred. Okay, that that was a little bit more damage than I, than I thought it would be. <laughs> That, that hit us a little bit harder than I thought it would. We will still be okay though. We'll still be okay though. How much do you, oh, okay. yeah, we have over 100,000. We have over 100,000. Uh, everybody else is taking double digits from the normals too. So, should be fine. Should be fine, and, and we're getting the dodges too, so we're not even taking damage there. But even if we get, even if we get hit, yeah, like 42, 43 damage. We're okay. We're okay. Yes. Perfect. All right. Some good healing there. Um, I'm going to put the boot tanks there for sure. And hopefully this time we get the stun, right? First time, uh, Boo Bukalo failed us. But he will not fail us again. I can see it. He's not going to fail us again. This time he will get the stun. And then we won't have to worry about the buff boo at the end. Because if buff boo gets supered, we could potentially die. There's a there's a decent chance we die, actually. <laughs> because his defense right now is probably not super high. Because it's dependent on... Not the stun. Okay. Oh god, the stun. Doesn't matter anymore. Uh, but no, his defense is dependent on how much HP you have. So the higher the HP, the more attack and defense he gets. Right? So... That's why his damage right now is not that impressive either. Finally, we're finally getting the exchange to Evil Boo, and then it takes four more turns to get to Super Boo, right? So that's what I was saying, man. Like it just it takes it takes too long. It takes too long. Um, let, let's pop the active skill. Why not? Why not? You know, we're not racing this time. If it was a race, I wouldn't have popped it. But since you know we're just chilling and we're just doing a showcase, we can uh, we can get away with uh. Popping the active skill, spending an extra 15, 20 seconds. Not a big deal, but I did learn my lesson from that Talon race. Okay, next time I do a race, whenever that is, I'm never using active skills 
ever again. It was super, super dumb. One of the biggest mistakes, one of the most embarrassing moments of my Dokkan career on YouTube. And uh, yeah, it's not gonna happen again. So can Super Boo finish things off here? He did not. Well, hey, you know what? Boo Tang's obviously, or Boo Han, obviously MVP of the run, MVP of the team. So we're gonna let him do the thing. And there you have it, guys. Majin Buu Saga, Super Battle Road with the new and improved, near invincible, all Boo Majin power team complete. No items used. Took a little bit longer than I thought it would, honestly. Um, oh wow, look, my, my last run was 10 minutes and 6 seconds. So, yeah, we could have been faster. But regardless, we got it done. Alright, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. We got it done. Shout out to Teller for his 90% Wu Tanks. And uh, guys, that is the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you feel about this team. Um, if you've given it a shot yourself, let me know what you think about it. And uh, that's pretty much all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And um, what else do I say? I totally forgot. Uh, if you're new here, sub to the channel, smash that subscribe button, join the Tiger Squad now, and also hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.